boys and girls and SFX families. Hour of Code is just around the corner, and I want to make sure that you boys and girls can all log into CodeSpark before we start coding on the week of December 6th. By watching this video, you will be able to log into CodeSpark at home. There is one catch though. The code that I have to send you in order to connect to your class is only available for two hours. Have no fear. I will continue to send this code out occasionally. If you miss the code once, it'll show up again. So let's do this. On your iPad, you're going to look for the app called CodeSpark. When you open it, your screen will look like this. It may take a little bit to download the app and get everything else situated, but it will happen. You're gonna go up to schools in the corner here, and then you're gonna select I'm a student. We're gonna use this use classroom code. So I'm gonna type in that, and then you're gonna type in the code that I give you. Remember, this is a code that will change after two hours. This is the code I have for right now. And then hit the green check mark. Once again, we have to wait for the application to finish downloading, and then we're gonna hit play. If you have used CodeSpark before, you will see your entire class here. You're going to select yourself. If you are new, you're going to select your name. You're going to pick an avatar, press the arrow, you can then select a name. So I can scroll through these and pick something, or I can use this dice here and it will mix it up for me. So I'm going to go with Jenny Honeybell and then hit the green check mark. As of right now, everyone should be in this puzzle section. The other sections are closed. We wanna see if you guys can finish those puzzles. If you happen to finish the puzzles, Explore will also be open. But it's very important that we get the puzzles done so that we can continue learning the next lessons. It's really hard to do Explore if you haven't done your puzzles. So if I click on puzzles, it's going to start me at whatever level I left off last year. If you didn't code with us last year, you're going to start with Donut Detective. We're going to press play. Start at the first level. And what's awesome is that it gives us little hints. So it can tell me to drag Walk things up right. and then tap on my food. I want to get the food or the critter last and collect as many gems as possible. If I make a mistake and I don't hit, get all of the things in one button press, I'm going to hit the refresh button and I can add my blocks, change my code, and collect mine. If you were unable to connect on the first try, don't worry about it. I will continue to send out codes once in a while. Keep an eye on Seesaw for when these codes come out. I do want all of my students to remember though, that even though we love coding and we love playing on our iPads, we should still do other things that are not on our iPads. Go read a book or play a game. Go have some fun. CodeSpark will always be there. If you have any questions, have mom or dad email me at this address below. Bye-bye and happy coding.